Hi, my cyber babies. This fella right here, his name is David Maccabee. want you to remember his name and remember this face because he is going to be doing big things in Hollywood as an independent filmmaker. Now, do you like being an independent filmmaker? What does that do for you? I like the, I, I like the idea that there's not a lot of people controlling my writing mm -hmm. or my work. It's something I write and... So not if a lot of input. Up, if yeah. gets jacked up, you if, if no one likes it, it's unfortunately on me, and I can't point any fingers. But at the end of the day, I get to control how it looks. I get to control what people are hearing, what people are seeing, and there's not a lot of input. I get the input where I want it, mm -hmm. but not a lot of unneeded input. Now, people, like I said, they never know, you know, what really goes into making an independent film or mm -hmm. making a film. Period. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first time I made a film, it was like. 200 people there and, and everybody had something different to do when you're movies. working on an independent film but this was a big budget film mm -hmm. yes my very first film yeah, was with girl. Hulk Hogan it was the big oh, that a big budget it was lovely it was just very lovely they treated me so special oh, the Hulk? Mm. Oh, it, oh yeah it was it was they really really well, I got did. the Hulkamania and so and that's I what at, how do you who sets the tone for what what's going to happen on the set is it the actors or the director uh, I like to I like I, God, I'd like to think that I control the tone mm -hmm. because I want to. I want everyone to come onto set having a good time, mm -hmm. or at least being comfortable, even if we're shooting heavy scenes or heavy dialogue or maybe a not so fun scene. But the the, the environment has to be light mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, we're oh, just yeah. making pretend. Even if it's a crying scene or a big bloody scene or what have you, we're still making pretend. So right. just have fun. If, if you're walking into the in, into set and it's heavy and I'm yelling and you're mad at me and I'm mad at that guy, nothing's going to get done. And it, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be happy with what we shot and we're going to have to go back and do it. So and, just come in and have a good time. And that's what you got to do. And I think our business should be what the public thinks, that we are having fun. Mm -hmm. That we do. I love what I do. I come every day and I said, when I stop having fun with this, when I stop having butterflies... I'm going to stop doing yeah, then it. Then it's time do to it, cash it in. Do you yeah. still get butterflies? I still get butterflies watching movies. Uh -huh. Like that's, I mean, that's the whole reason anyone gets into this because ho hopefully, you know, because you're a fan of movies. You're a fan of writing. I like creating. I like making music. I like writing stories. And if you're not liking doing that part of it, then you, shouldn't be doing you shouldn't be doing it. Who, so. who are some of the people, some of the directors that you look up to? Oh, uh, the list. Uh, unfortunately, that list could go on for miles. But I mean, growing up, um, watching all of Larry Cohen's movies, like watching his films, going, I that I can do, that I can get behind. And then, like, as the independent film uh, bang of the '90s, were like Quentin Tarantino and Kevin Smith. And John Favreau, like those were the guys. The only one I recognized was Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> John Favreau, he uh, he he went on to direct the first Iron Man movie and the second Iron Man movie, but he started in like writing Swingers, which was one of the most profitable, biggest movies of the nineties. Wasn't it, was it a porn in, movie? No. Oh, swing. Oh, swing. No, that was the other one. Oh, yeah. Boogie Nights. Yeah, there you oh. go. Yeah, that's they, again. I that's another great one. Um, Amazing can, director. Can you watch porn? I I can't because. They're doing it better than me usually. Is that what? So, really? Yeah. You need to get some skills, baby. I, well, I try. I, I tried I to can, take some lessons. I, but. Can, I can't even watch it. I have never seen a porn movie all the way through. Oh yeah. And, and when when I watch, I'm looking for the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the shoes, and I want to know what is going through that guy's head that's that close to somebody's JJ. See, I'm, I'm I'm the opposite. I'm thinking about the cameraman. Like he's all up in someone's business. Mm -hmm. Like, is he wearing a raincoat? Like, is he it's, got a mask stuff getting on? on it. Yeah, like Can I'm you not smell it. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> thinking about what's happening. I'm thinking, oh, that poor camera guy. Now, you're the, you're just pretty much getting started. Where mm -hmm. do you see yourself in your career in five years? I, I hope doing the same thing I'm doing now, just maybe on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. Still writing my own things, directing. Just will you always write scale. horror, or will you no. step into another genre? I, I have um, a, another movie that. That is hopefully being filmed next year. It'll be my first feature. Okay. The tentative title is called For the Love of Jesse, and we'll hopefully be shooting that next year. Oh, I even like the title for mm -hmm. that. And that's not a horror, actually. That is a love story. Oh, hey! Yeah, it's a love are you story. in love? The, the people in this story are. I am, so. Are yeah, you? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you believe in romance still? Yeah. Even in this crazy, mixed up, insane it's world? Too much insanity to not. That's what love. I say. And why are you taking life serious? 
you're not coming out of it alive. No. So why not have as much fun, meet as many people, start as much trouble. Okay, don't start got, any trouble. I got the trouble part. Yeah, yeah we, got we, we got that down. I got David, you. it has been my distinct honor and pleasure to have you with me. Tell Thank people so how much. they can get in touch with uh, you. You guys can find uh, the Night Terrors Instagram on Night Terrors the Movie on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook, David Maccabee. It's the picture with the beard. That's how you can find me. Um, and, and just keep your eyes out for night terrors. Night terrors, night terrors, night terrors. Coming your way. I'm going to have a night terror from the Ooh. poster. Matter of fact, we, we'll put the poster up. Let me show you. The, this is creepy. Okay, I don't want to look at it, but can you see this poster? Night terrors. Night terrors. If it's scaring you, that means we're doing our job. Uh huh. Well, you did your job, baby. And this is night terrors. So look for the lady with no face. Yes, this is a lady with no face. I am Mother Love, know that I love you, and there's not a ding dang doggone thing that you can do about me loving you. Peace, babies. <laughs>